Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to pick up an item or interact with it using the E key or whichever you choose. So once we're finished, it should look a little like this. You walk into it, press E, and it picks it up. And it also plays a sound, destroys the actor once we're done, and then all the other code that you choose to do. For example, mine adds more battery to my flashlight. So if I drain it, do that, it adds more. So let's get started. So I'm going to add the code to my already made battery pickup, which I made in a previous tutorial, which I'd recommend you watch. So it's linked on the screen now and in the description below. But if you haven't already got a battery pickup or whatever, so first off, let's go to where you want to put it. So first person BP and then blueprints and then right click blueprint class and actor and then call it whatever you want. But I've already got it, so I don't need that. And then in there, you can just create the code and customize it to however you want. But again, if you don't already have one, then I would recommend going to watch my tutorial on how to do it. So let's open up the battery pickup that we've already made. So now what this code does that I've already got here is basically when you walk into the battery, it will pick it up and add the power to your flashlight. So it does all this code when you walk into it, which I can show you here. So you see, you just walk into it and it works like so. So let's go to the code down here. You just want to drag this, move it over to give yourself a bit more space. Go onto the box collision node down here and create another event. So on component end overlap, now instead of begin, just bring that up like that. And then what we're going to want to do is off the execute pin here for the begin overlap, we're going to want to enable input and then cast to your character, mine being first person character, like so. Just move this over again. And then the object of the cast goes into other actor like so. And then we're just gonna copy and paste this down here, delete the enable input and just do the opposite. So it'd be disable input, and then again, connect them up like so, and the object is other actor. Then let's move these up to give us some more space again. And move that there. And then for the player controller on the inputs, we're just gonna drag off and get player controller Plug that in there, and you just plug it into both, like so. Then let's just compile this, go back to the viewport, go up to edit in the top left, project settings, go down to input, and we're just gonna add another action mapping for interact. So you just press the plus button there, call it whatever you want, like interact, and then select E or F. But again, you can use whatever you want, but it's most typically E or F. And the reason I already have one here is because I use it for the opening and closing door tutorial, which I did previously. So let's just close this, go back to the blueprint, find some space up here, right click and type interact which is just calling the action mapping we just made so if you named it something else just search for it accordingly and then off the press just drag out and get a gate making sure that it goes into the enter slot and then for the open we're going to want to get that into the cast from the enable input so begin overlap and the close goes into the cast from the end overlap like so. And you're going to want to make sure that it is start as closed. It should be that by default, but just in case it isn't, make sure it's like that. And then hook up the exit to the cast first person there, or just the rest of your code. So you might not have this, but this is just what you want it to do once you've picked it up, is this bit of code here. And so what this does is it means that when the player walks into the box collision, it's going to open the gate, meaning that if you press E, it allows the rest of the code to fire off. And when the player leaves the box collision, it will close the gate, meaning that this can't be triggered even if E is pressed. Also, if you don't enable and disable the inputs here, then it won't work and it will glitch out and the player can sometimes pick it up and sometimes can't. So it's best to just do this, otherwise the player will get annoyed that it sometimes works, but most often doesn't. And again, off the exit, off the gate, just hook it up to the rest of your code for what you want the blueprint to do when you pick it up. So for example, mine will pick up a battery and add 10 more power to the flashlight, but if it's above 100 then it won't do anything and then it will destroy the actor. And if you want, you can also just do a play sound at location, like so, to make a sound when you pick it up. Move that over there, plug that into that as well, like so. And then do I have any sounds? So I don't have any specific sounds for this, but for the moment I'll just use camera shutter just to test that it works. And for the location, you want to go as first person character, or just your character, get location, get actor location, and then hook the return value into the location there. And if you want a tutorial on how to make this part of the code, then make sure to check out my video that I made on this, which is on screen now and in the description. So let's hit compile, close this, hit play just to test it out. You see, if I walk into it, nothing happens. I can't pick it up or anything. 
but if I walk into it, press E, it picks it up and plays a sound effect. And as you saw on the right of the screen, my battery level went up. So walk into it, press E, it works perfectly. Again, yours might do something different, but basically when you walk into it and press E, it will pick up the object and fire off the code we made after the gate. If you want to increase area around the object for where the player has to be to be able to pick it up, you just go back into the blueprint, go into the viewport, go on the box collision, and just make it as big as you want by changing the scale over here. And basically means that when the player is in that collision, that's when the code can be fired off when they press E. So I just hit compile, but I haven't changed it. So that will be it for this video. If everything works perfectly how I want, all works like that. You pick it up by pressing E when you walk into it. No glitches or anything, and it plays the sound as well. So thank you for watching. I hope this helped. And if you enjoyed and it did help you, make sure to like and subscribe down below. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.